always be riffing. Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Here's my website, Patreon, Instagram, Spotify artist page. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you determine that this content is entertaining for you. It helps me when you do that. If you don't like my videos, just don't watch them. All right, so ABR playing. This is totally just something. I apologize for the clickbaity kind of title. Eh, just playing around here. Um, what this means is dig deep. Every note you play, every time you pick up the guitar, be in the pocket, be in the groove, be playing in such a way that like if <laughs> there were cameras on you and microphones on you, it would sound good. It's because I catch my students sometimes playing in such a way that they're not really committing to what they play. And there's just, you don't, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what I'm doing here. This is one of my favorite things to do. I have done this since I was 15 years old. It all goes back to Hendrix Little Wing. Join me. Play a B minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> And even that, by the way, let's dig deep. Let's really play each note and really feel each note. That's jam my jam pedals retro vibe into this AC uh, AC4 hand wired. So one thing I you know okay. Here's what I'm doing here. So I'm thinking of that, and then the other thing I'm thinking of is actually drum grooves. Uh, in this example, we're going to talk more about other ways to dig deep to always be riffing. I'm actually thinking of the drum groove from the Stooges, Dirt. Let's pull it up. I don't have it playing right now, so I'll just bop my head and wonder if it's in time. I don't know. So I'm actually thinking of, I've talked about this in other videos, um, that guitar grooves and drum grooves are actually kind of similar because a bass drum is a low frequency and a snare drum is a high frequency, so. There's our essential groove. Now the other little piece of the puzzle that I'm thinking of that sometimes escapes my students is that double stops. <laughs> and really all a double stop is is stacking two notes that easily stack on top of each other. So. Those are all freaking cool. I've done lessons where I'm like. So I'm kind of combining the idea of that groove. I could do this literally all day. And by the way, if, you, if you're curious about what I do when no one's around, it is a lot of this. I've always loved to just hang my thumb over. But it's always rhythmic. It's always in time. It's always grooving. That's the key. Um, so yeah, yes, I can tap my foot and play. And I do actually, you know, if you don't tap your foot and play and never tried, you should, you should, because yeah, pocket, groove, you know, uh, you could, you know, like, it doesn't mean playing mechanically, it means digging deep. It means, all right, let's go. Be the magic that you are made of. <laughs> We're lucky to be here at all. So don't throw away your notes. Don't just kind of be like, I don't know. <laughs> It 
don't just like kind of play non-committally, even if no one's around, even if it's just, you know, you're in your home office or wherever you get to play. Like be like, all right, it's all out. It's all out there. I'm riffing. Even if, all right, I'll turn my retro vibe off. This can also translate to non-badass sounding things. Say I was to play Whiter Shade of Pale. do that hold on this tune again um that like it doesn't matter what you're working on that you are always trying to play in such a way that if there was a record producer in the room with mike set up you'd be like yeah i can lay down a part and so they're just to review that doesn't mean playing complicated that doesn't mean playing fancy it just means playing focused and rhythmic with brain heart ass soul whatever you want to call it just don't waste your notes Uh oh, forgot the chord while I was thinking about playing soulfully. That's, you know, that's the main thing. Hold on, I have to cough. <coughs> and so other things to think about that also means playing slow. You know that I'm a big proponent of playing slowly because just know this, we will all always try and, I like to use this word, squoze the notes together. It's not, I do it too, by the way. Like say, I'm, I'll go back to that original groove. <laughs> constantly remind myself to slow down also so it's not me being like oh I can do this it's just what it is really is it makes sense the human mind is wired in such a way that once it learns a task it's like I bet I could do that a little bit faster I bet I could do that a little bit faster and yes that's very useful for getting through this world but when working on musical things we have to always remind ourselves just slow it down yeah you could use a metronome if you need to um, always a good idea but I just think knowing that like if you have to ask yourself boy I'm kind of rushing this then you know what the answer is like oh, let me breathe and let me play it chill <laughs> I think I covered everything I really need to cover. We'll see how this video does. It's kind of a weird one. But I really do believe in this, that this idea that like, let's put that down. That yeah, whenever you're playing, whatever you're working on, even if it's just scales, even if it's just strumming chords, try your best to like take a breath, push it all out, you know, don't worry about, you know, your car insurance premiums or your credit card debt or all the stuff we have to deal with. It'd be like, when you're playing music, be the notes as much as you possibly can. That's, you know, because people talk about 
like, oh, you know, my soloing sucks, my improv sucks, I don't sound like, you know, the way I want to sound. It's really an eye of the beholder kind of thing. It really means you're just not focused because I've said it before, like, you don't need to be a great lead guitar player to play lead guitar. Like, you just need to be able to land stuff. Here, let's leave the settings the same. I always go back to Mike Campbell as a great example. All, you know, all his iconic leads are super simple, but they're super in the pocket. They're super deep. Every note is felt. Every note is heard. And that's, 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 that's the way to play, in my humble opinion, <laughs> in my very humble opinion. All right. We'll stop there for today. Thank you, everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, because you know what? Don't put ads on my channel because I don't like it. I don't, man, I'm sure we've all had this experience where like you're hanging out with your friends um, and then the next day you scroll through your Instagram feed or whatever and you're like, why am I getting advertised things that we talked about yesterday? And it's actually, it's interesting. It's not because the microphone is listening. It has to do with everybody's searches and whatever people have been searching in their browser that gets fed and then it gets the phones know that they were near each other and it's like, hey, because like, my buddy Rich, we were talking about, he's like, oh yeah, I was going to shop for new glasses frames. And like, you know, he, I was like, oh, you're going to do any Anyway, we were talking about glasses for like 15 minutes. I opened up my phone yesterday, ads for glasses. Ugh, leave me alone, man. I'll choose to shop when I want to shop. Anyway, I don't put ads on my channel. I make my living uh, from people, uh, you know, from liking my video, subscribing, because that's algorithm traffic. Algorithm traffic means website traffic, means people are booking lessons, they're bu buying my PDF downloads, or they're supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. All of that. Thank you, because that means I can eat and pay my rent. Um, and that's all I have to say. Next week, we'll be back with more music noticing, music theory stuff, assuming that the lighting is lovely like this and that there's no insane construction going on in my neighborhood, building four houses around me, so you never know. And uh, yeah, as Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza. <laughs>